Hi everyone, my name is Miss Marilyn and welcome to Preschool Storytime. This story time is about beautiful birds. I bet you guys have seen a couple of beautiful birds in your backyards recently. Well, before we begin, we're going to start with our opening song, Shake Your Sillies Out. You guys can sing along with me. We're going to shake, shake, shake our sillies out, shake, shake, shake our sillies out, shake, shake. Shake our sillies out and wiggle our waggles away. We're gonna clap, clap, clap our crazies out. Clap, clap, clap our crazies out. Clap, clap, clap our crazies out and wiggle our waggles away. We're gonna stretch, stretch, stretch our stretchies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch our stretchies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch our stretchies out and wiggle our waggles away. We're gonna yawn. <laughs> yawn or yawnies out. Yawn, yawn, yawn or yawnies out. Yawn, yawn, yawn or yawnies out and wiggle our waggles away. Good job, guys. Let's go ahead and get started with our first story. Our first story is called Little Owl's Orange Scarf. Little Owl lived with his mommy in a tree on the edge of City Park. He loved adding numbers, eating ice cream, and riding his scooter. He usually loved surprises, but he did not love his new scarf. It was itchy. <clears throat> it was too long, and it was far too orange. You need to wear your new scarf, said Mommy. It will keep you nice and warm. Little Owl tried very hard to lose his new scarf. Hmm, you would make a pretty good present for Grandpa. Or maybe the scarf would like a nice vacation to Peru. But Mommy always found it. You'll need to wear this scarf today, said Mommy. It's your class visit to the zoo. Little Owl came home from the zoo with all sorts of stories, but Little Owl came home from the zoo without his scarf. Well, Mommy called the zoo, but nobody had found Little Owl's scarf. <sighs> Never mind, she said. We can make another scarf, and this time we will do it together. The yarn shop was a lot more exciting than Little Owl expected and he spied something he liked. After a lot of hard work, Little Owl's scarf was finished. It was soft, it was just long enough, and it wasn't orange. Little Owl loved it, especially when he went on visits to the zoo. All right, so up next, we're going to do a little rhyme that has to do with birds, and it is called Little Birds. So if you guys want to hold out your hand, you can have a little bird in your hand. Can your little bird eat bird seed? There you go. So, little bird, little bird, jump up and down. Little bird, little bird, don't make a sound. Little bird, little bird, tiptoe to me. Little bird, little bird, bend your knees. Little bird, little bird, peep, peep, peep. Little bird, little bird, sleep, sleep, sleep. Little bird, little bird, fly to the leaves. Little bird, little bird, sit down please. There we go. All right, it is time for another story and this story is called Balance the Birds. Here come the birds. Let's see how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Half the birds on the left side and half the birds on the right. So what does that mean for each side? Half of eight is four, so four and four. 
this is how the birds balanced. Uh-oh, off they go, and half the birds remain. What do you think is going to happen to the tree if half of the birds fly away? That's right, one side is too heavy, and one side is too light. Unless, how can we balance it? Two birds perch here, and two hop over there. Now it's balanced. Ta-da! Now the birds balance. Uh-oh, off they go, which means one small bird remains until Oh no, here comes one big bird. How will the birds balance? It's leaning. Well, small birds are quite light, but a few more might balance the tree. So let's see how many small birds does it take to equal one big bird? One, two, three, four, five. Here come the birds. How would you balance the birds? Have you ever noticed a lot of birds in a tree near your home? Think it might tip over? All right, so we're gonna do a little rhyme with a little bit of counting. So I brought some friends with me today. So let's do some counting. We have one, two, three, four, five. We've got five little owls. And what color are our owls? We have blue, green, purple, brown, and pink. So there were five little owls on the branch by the shore. One of them flew away. And then there were four. One, two, three, four. Four little owls high up in a tree. One of them spied a worm. And then there were three. One, two, three. Hmm, let's see. Can you guys remember what color owls I've taken down? Because there's two missing. We're missing a pink and a purple owl. That's right. So there were three little owls looking for something fun to do. One of them chased a squirrel. And then there were two. One, two. Two little owls having lots of fun. One of them had to go home. And then there was one. One owl. One little owl watching the setting sun. He flew on home. And then there were none. No more owls. We counted down from five to zero. Good job, guys. All right, so it's time for another story. And this story is called Mama Built a Little Nest. Mama built a little nest inside a sturdy trunk. She used her beak to tap, tap, tap to place the perfect bunk. Anybody know what kind of bird that is? That's a woodpecker. Mama built a little nest, a cup so wee and snug, with walls of moss and a roof of sky and silky cobweb rug. Anybody know what kind of bird those are? Those are little baby hummingbirds. Mama built a little nest. Well, actually, she didn't. She found one that another made, and she laid me right inside it. Anybody know what kind of bird that is? That's a cuckoo, and cuckoos will take over the nest of another bird to lay their eggs. Mama built a little nest, and my daddy helped out too. They placed my egg upon his feet, and that's where I hatched and grew. Anybody know what kind of birds those are? They are emperor penguins. Mama scraped a simple nest upon a craggly ledge. She tucked me safe within her wings until my time to fledge. Anybody know what kind of bird this is? This is a falcon. 
And little baby falcons are nice and fluffy looking. Daddy built a little nest, and then he built another, and another, and another, hoping to impress my mother. Mama built a little nest. She used her beak to sew a woven nest of silky grass, the perfect place to grow. Anybody guess what these birds are called? They're called weaver birds because they weave their nests. Mama built a little nest by digging out a burrow. It was a hoot, our little home, a safe and feathery furrow. Mama built a little nest. She gathered twigs that float and placed them on the water to create a cozy boat. Mama built a little nest. She made it on the ground. A simple nest, not very soft, with pebbles smooth and round. Daddy built a little nest. Now don't gross out with spit. Who could have thought that spit would make a perfect place to sit? Would you want your home full of spit? No. Mama built a sealed nest within a tree's hollow. Daddy left a little hole to pass her food to swallow. What do you think this bird is called? It's called a hornbill because of its big nose. Mama built a sturdy nest by stacking twigs up high, a breezy house upon a tree with talons blend in the sky. You guys know what kind of bird that is. That's an eagle. Mama built a little nest entirely out of mud. No feathery down, no soft green plants, just fuddy, cruddy mud. What kind of bird is that? That's right, it's a flamingo. You have a nest, your very own, a place to rest your head with pillow soft and cozy thoughts. Your nest is called a bed. The end. I'd much rather have my cozy bed than a nest. That's just me though. All right, so today I brought with me a shaky egg. Now the shaky egg is very easy to make. You guys can probably make it at home. So this is just one of your little Easter eggs and you can fill it up with unpopped popcorn or rice or seeds. Uh, and then you just need to take some tape and tape it around the outside and you've got yourself a shaky egg. And we're actually gonna use the shaky egg for our next song. It's called, We Shake Our Eggs Together. So, we shake our eggs together. We shake our eggs together. We shake our eggs together because it's fun to do. We shake them up high, and we shake them down low. We shake them fast, and we shake them slow. There we go, now you guys know how to make a shaky egg at home, and you have a fun little rhyme to say along with it. Okay, so we've got one more story today. And this story is called The Odd Egg. All the birds had laid an egg. All that was except for Duck. Then Duck found an egg. Oh my goodness, what a big egg that was. He thought it was the most beautiful egg in all the world. That egg is odd, said Owl. Hee hee hee, said Flamingo. Oh, that's not pretty at all, said Chicken. The other birds did not think the egg was pretty. Well then, one egg hatched. Chicken had her, her little chick. Another baby bird, cheep, cheep, cheep. Oh, out came Owl's bird, baby bird. Oh, and another. All of the eggs had hatched, except for ducks. Duck waited for his egg to hatch, and he waited, and he waited. 
<sighs> and he waited until <gasps> snap. Well, that wasn't a duck egg at all, now was it? The end. What an odd egg indeed. All right, that was our last story for today. So we're gonna go ahead and, and sing our closing song, if you're happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, pat your knees. If you're happy and you know it, pat your knees. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, pat your knees. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Well, thanks for coming and listening to the stories, guys. See you next time.